Hello guys, what is up? My name is Dan the Delight and today I'm going to be showing you how to complete the level Far Chrome Exo Center in the game Siphon Filter 2. And this is probably one of the longer missions on the game, probably the longest to be honest. Um, so we are here for about 30 minutes just under um, of Siphon Filter 2 fun. This is probably one of my favorite missions but it's got to be done obviously to get to the next level and to unlock the trophy. So start off by taking these guys out here as you've just seen me do. Um, get that silence HK5 thing and um, get some ammo for that because you will be using that weapon quite a bit during this mission um, To be honest, so we do definitely want to make sure we get the most of that again If you do enjoy the video, please do give it a thumbs up and uh, hit that subscribe button for more videos like this It will help me out tremendously and there is a, a link in the uh, description down below for the playlist of Siphon Filter 2 um, But yeah moving on into the next section here. So you get sort of like the um, the night vision goggles which I don't really see the point in because you didn't really need to use them anyway it wasn't anything there but yeah we've got these enemies here so we take this one out up here it takes forever for some reason I don't know why this guy hasn't got a flat jacket on maybe it's just because he purely are shooting at his legs I don't know if that's what the cause of that was but it seemed to take a little while for him to actually die there um, but the next section you get two more come through so from the left and the right and try and headshot these because these can actually kill you pretty quickly if you don't do that um, so you want to take these out pretty quick um, just to stop them taking you out so we headshot both of them two guys um, and then move on to the next section which is that guy right at the top there so um, to get him you want to move actually out of this little area move forward a little bit um, so you can swing and get him so there's another one here that you want to be careful of he hasn't got a flak jacket or anything on so don't worry too much about that um, but yeah just make sure that you kill him um, pretty quickly because as you can see there my health has gone down quite considerably um, from not really doing an awful lot to be honest um, so I got a little bit confused here on where I was going I lost my bearings completely um, but basically you, the, the main aim is to kill that guy at the top so I'm going to, uh, going to try and do that now, so we're going to jump up here, jump up here, and you want to go for a headshot because he is a very, very good assassin, he will get you otherwise if you don't headshot him first, um, so definitely go for that headshot pretty quickly, um, so you're just going to keep climbing up here, and as you can see he's popped out the side there, so you just want to wait for him pretty much, line your shot up and wait for his head. Um, you can, sh yeah, there we go, got him in the head, um, and then you can just move forward with your mission. There we go, um, and basically get his jacket because uh, you will probably be low on armor if you're anything like me, and uh, just for some reason couldn't quite um, grasp the uh, the first bit there without getting hurt too much. But just carry on down this way, um, and then you see that like um, tunnel thing. So you want to actually shoot that out and then jump through so this is a bit of a, a longer tunnel than probably what you're used to and um, so you literally just need to follow it round pretty much and you'll get to the end of it eventually um, but yeah there's it's pretty linear there's only one way that you can go with this tunnel um, so uh, we're gonna just follow that round now we're at the end of the tunnel so just shoot out this little thing here and climb down and you'll be at your first checkpoint of the mission i think maybe second and don't quote me on that checkpoints don't really matter too much in this because uh, you can just use the rewind feature anyway uh, but night vision goes on you are in danger there is an enemy here just make sure that you take him out as quick as you possibly can um, and just to shoot and slug him with him there to be honest so um, yeah it doesn't, it's not too technical there you don't need to headshot him or anything the lights will keep going in and out here um, so you just want to be a bit careful um, actually for me it makes the enemies appear a little bit more to be honest I, I think I can see them a little bit better when the, uh, the, the night vision's on but it does make the a bit blurry as well so just be careful of that take this guy out here and then you will go back into normal vision um, and then there's the box there that you can pick up the grenades in I think it is a grenade um, and then once you've got, oh it's a flak jacket, even better to be honest with you um, I don't really use grenades too much in this game but you will need them, there will be a box with grenades in this level because they are a necessity but the flak jacket is good so just take that guy out there, pick up his ammo as I said the ammo is quite important for this one because there will be a lot of shooting going on um, and you see this guy over here so we're just going to want to take him out as well um, try and get a headshot on him just to save your ammo and you know make it a bit quicker for yourself um, but you'll probably recognize this from the first siphon filter game if you did play that um, if you haven't i definitely recommend going back and playing it because it is fantastic um, but basically you want to climb up the crate here 
um, once I, f I finally figure it out. <laughs> but yeah, so you drop down there, climb up this crate, and then you eventually want to go up onto that little little ledge there. Um, so we're going to just do that now. Again, I've had a couple of people wondering why I'm not holding the controller. It's just because I played it. Then I do the recording of the commentary afterwards, and just so I can edit and everything in the meantime. Um, so we're on this ledge now, and then you want to actually turn this way, and you'll see that little, um, I don't know, vent thing, I guess they call them. So yeah, we shoot that out, and then you climb up there, um, and you'll be well on your way down this tunnel. So just carry on down the tunnel, um, and you will eventually, again, it's quite linear. There's not, I don't think down these um, chutes there are any sort of way to go wrong, to be honest with you. So it's just purely just following through the path. Um, so again, it's another pretty long one um, for you to actually have to go find your way around. So it's a bit annoying, but you will get to the end eventually. Um, and once you do, you'll, I think, get another checkpoint. Um, but we'll get there in just a moment. So la 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 la. Again, trying to kill time while we're just wandering around here. Um, yeah, this is what causes the mission to be a bit longer, to be honest, is the uh, just wandering around aimlessly down these tunnels. But you will come to this area here um, where there are going to be two enemies. So you want to shoot the first one and uh, try and get your crossbow or get your crossbow out and try and get it aimed up perfectly with the guy's body because that will cause you to, otherwise you will have to replay it. So I think this is the only way to actually do the mission is to use the crossbow. So try and aim that crossbow up nicely on his body. As you can see him there, just literally hanging out. It doesn't matter where you hit him, it is a one shot kill. Um, and then you want to actually shoot this out with your silence pistol so that you can get out. Um, so once you've done that, hop down um, and then once you've hopped down you'll see this little bit on the side here hide behind this as he runs that way it's, it's a little bit tricky and then you sort of just crouch and you want to crouch and go behind him and then you want to taser him so you don't actually kill this one uh, just taser this one and then you can move on to where the other one run from so zap him and just get his ammo obviously and then I don't think you have much choice to be honest when you zap him I think it automatically picks up the ammo anyway um, and then you want to just run to where this uh, the other one came from and just keep running down this way um, and then zap him as well so that disposes of him so no enemies left in this area now which is very useful um, you don't have to worry about getting seen or anything like that because they will just walk up and down if you don't do that bit. Um, but once you've done that, climb up to... Oh, there is one more enemy. Sorry, this one's a bit hidden though. Um, so you want to climb up onto these boxes here. Climb, climb again. And then there will be an enemy just on the other side of these boxes. So you're going to see him in just a moment. Um, let's have a quick look. If he... I don't know what I'm doing to be honest. I was just standing admiring the view. Um, but yeah, jump down here and there is an enemy on the right hand side and you want to zap him as well. Luckily he's got his back to you, so you haven't got to really worry about, uh, as you can see there, you haven't really got to worry about um, him killing you. This is the best way to do it. If you went down the other way, obviously you'd die because uh, you can't kill him. But on the left hand side here, there's actually a secret door. So you're going to want to go into this secret door. I was trying to look for it, but you can see just the outline of it there. Kick that door down and you'll get your next checkpoint. So we're getting through this mission a little bit quickly. Uh, I don't know, it's, it's still a long mission. Still 20 minutes to go off this mission. But obviously it needs to be done so you can advance on to the next one. And so you can get the trophy and the platinum at the end of it. Um, but yeah, just carry on. So we're at this door now. Just crouch down here. There will be some enemies here. So you do want to be a little bit careful. You need to play peekaboo here. So you see the locker there. Wait for the guy to just stand in, sort of facing his friend. Um, wait for him to move that way. There you go. Um, and then wait to get the crouch one. So you want to get your taser out still. Um, and then you want to taser this one. So just run up to him and then crouch when you get a bit closer and zap him. And there we go. So we get his ammo with it as well there at that locker. So then we want to swing a left and you'll see another doorway there kind of thing. Um, so just sort of slowly take this guy out before you go into that doorway. And there we go. Zap him as well. Nice and easy. Um, get his M16 ammo. And then there's that doorway there. So once you've got them out of the way, go through this door. Um, and then you will want to take a left. Um, and then jump up onto the crates here. So there's three crates that you're going to want to jump. So you get that one, that one, and there's another one. But the last one you need to be a bit careful for. So there is an enemy patrolling at the top there. So you just want to make sure that you don't go jump onto that last one until the enemy is not looking at you. So we're going to jump there. And then we're going to jump up one more. And then be careful of the enemy 
see him there. You see when he's behind that sort of ledge, ledge thing, I don't know, pillar, that's when you want to climb up. I don't know if I make the mistake here. Oh, so yeah, I did obviously make the mistake. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm bad editing. Uh, but yeah, we jump across, and then for some reason, somehow you can just make that jump. I have no idea how that was quite an extraordinary jump. But uh, once you've done that, you want to go left, and you'll see this little uh, this little area here. So basically, you want to crouch behind there and wait for him to come back with your taser in hand. I'm going to fast forward it a little bit because it does take a little while for him to actually come back. La 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 la. And then he'll be there, just taser him when he's got his back to you. Um, nice and easy, get him out of the way and then just follow around basically where his path is. So there we go, zap him, get his ammo and then just swing right here at where he, where he was walking anyway. So we're just moving on to the next section here now and you'll see another vent. Uh, we need to actually shoot that out again. So get your silence pistol, shoot that vent out and you can probably guess what our next movement is. Jump up there and go through the vent. I don't think this one's quite as long as what some of the other ones. Oh, you get a cutscene here anyway. Um, but yeah, I don't think this vent is quite as long as what the other ones have been. I might be mistaken, to be honest. Um, all these vents sort of blend together for me. Um, but yeah, just make sure that you carry on moving around here. Um, oh yeah, there we go. So we're at the end of this one already. So shoot that vent out. Uh, just shoot that out. And then you're going to want to jump down onto this ledge little ledge thing here. Um, and then just basically move forward, but there will be an enemy, well there will be a, a little cutscene that will come first of all, but then there will be an enemy in that little gap there, um, and watch out because he has got grenades, so you're going to want to just avoid the grenades and kill him quick, so he'll lob a grenade, um, and then you do need to get out of the way like that, and then just kill him, and then once you can jump up, so that's not the easiest of enemies to defeat but then there'll be another one here so kill him as well and this is the grenades that i was talking about you will need to pick these up they are very important for the uh for one of the later parts of this mission so just make sure that you pick them up and then above them there will be another vent and um, so we're going to want to shoot that out and as you can probably tell you need to climb up into it so i'm going to fast forward a little bit here on this vent it's not too long but it's long enough and we've seen enough vents now so we get to the end of this vent, make sure you've got your silence pistol um, ready and shoot that vent out and you'll drop down onto this next building here. Um, so basically you're just going to want to run forward a little bit more um, to the left hand side. Oh no, sorry, <laughs> it is just forward, I'm um, getting confused a little bit there and swing on right and you'll see this guy is back to you, headshot him. Um, take his armour if you want to, I'm a little bit low on armour so I'm going to make sure that I do so. Um, and then once you've done that you can also get his ammo as well in this at the same time of course um, from here you just want to uh, basically do a 180 turn back round um, really killing that guy was just to get his, his uh, flak jacket but that will come in handy because you definitely will need some more armor going forward um, and then you just go around this little area here and just keep running forward on this section there are going to be some enemies here so uh, be prepared um, be equipped and make sure you've got your jacket on because it will definitely get a little bit heated around this area here. So you might recognize this as well from Siphon Filter 1. So you've got that guy there, just headshot him, take him out nice and quick with your silence pistol. And then you've got the guy up the top there who I don't think we can get just yet. No. So wait for him, drop down, don't drop down because it will kill you. I made that mistake. Take this guy out and just take him out as quickly as you possibly can you can actually get that guy which is good so headshot him headshot him um, and then there will be some boxes on the side that's where you actually need to drop down not what i just did and, and almost do well, i did kill myself and then had to rewind it um, don't do that um, but yeah drop down here onto these boxes it takes a little while for him to actually drop down i don't know why you couldn't have just sort of jumped down that little section but you uh yeah jump down there but <laughs> Who knows? Um, but yeah, just need to, to keep running down here, and then there will be some more enemies. Maybe just one, to be honest, along here. Um, yeah, that you need to just be careful for. He has a flak jacket, so just make sure you headshot him, um, line it up nicely, and uh, and then you'll get his ammo as well, which is all good. Um, but then from here, basically, you want to just swing a left. Um, don't bother going up there. I did that the first time, and you don't need to. Um, you need to go through this door here. Um, it took me a little while to realize because there are a few doors here that you can that one is blocked off so you don't need to go there you just need to go follow that red path down here and then go down to that left hand side door there so 
once you've done so there will be an enemy there this one can be a little bit tricky so just be careful make sure you headshot him and get him out of the way before anything can happen um, and I think there will be a couple more to be honest along here as well um, so just make sure I'm going to equip the, uh, the crossbow um, and then obviously you can pick up his ammo that you've just got there um, but just be careful because there will probably be an enemy coming up hit that checkpoint which is good um, but yeah there we go so make sure you kill him with the crossbow and I think there might be one more in here as well that you need to try and get hold of um, not entirely sure I remember to be honest um, all these missions kind of blend in especially this one this one feels very safe and feel whiny because um, it is almost the same map a lot of it is the same yeah there's the other enemy so you want to take him out as well and then once you've done so you want to plant the bomb so basically you take them out and turn right um, here and you see that little legend in between the two pillars there that is where you can plant the explosive that you need to so I was a bit confused here I was thinking that you needed to plant it there and was wondering why it wasn't working but then I figured plant the decoy there it is so we're going to plant that now just press triangle to plant that of course you know that by now if you have played all of the other missions objective complete so um, now that we've completed that last objective in this area we can head out so um, I don't know why I decided that I wanted to run that way because that's not the way to go so do a 180 and then head out this way so there's the box there in the left hand side you want to actually go up that box because there is a crate uh, sorry there is a, uh, a, a grate at the top uh, that you need to shoot out so climb up this box here um, and then there will be a, a nice grate at the top which you need to shoot so you can see that from where, where I'm standing right now get your silence pistol out shoot that and climb up on the box and then climb up onto the uh, into the grate and into the uh, the tunnel so I'm just going to fast forward that little bit there because the tunnel is, uh, is a little bit long so you will then come to this cutscene um, and that means that you know you're on the right path so um, is it you want to get a little bit further away from the uh, the entrance there headshot this guy, for some reason his friend is uh, it's stupid and doesn't really do an awful lot to try and help you I guess to be fair I wouldn't want to run just where my friend's been headshotted but he's just stood there um, and he's easy picking because you can just take his leg out so it takes a few shots but he moves forward a little bit to make it a little bit easier a few shots, as I said quite a few shots um, to actually kill this fellow, there he is, he's gone now so once you've done that drop down and you can take their armour and oh, so that might be why it took a little bit longer actually he did have armour on, I will, I will forgive him um, but yeah basically get their stuff there and then there'll be this other vent once you get into there so uh, you're going to want to actually climb up there I was a bit confused with what vent to actually climb up here um, but we're going to climb up to this one and I'm going to fast forward it again just because we don't need to see more vent action Alright, so coming towards the end of this um, event now, so just finishing up, come on, come on, come on, and there you go, so you see this uh, exit here, hit it with your silenced pistol as you have done with every other event and drop it down, um, as you can see there we're running a little bit low on the uh, ammo for the silenced pistol, but hopefully you've got a bit more than I have, if not you have got other weapons as well, uh, that's not the way that you need to go, I don't know why I did that, but basically you just want to go straight along the path that you was going on, um, so straight off where you come out of the vent just go left and there will be some enemies here again there you can shoot these from behind so it's not a big problem also taser them I think if you shoot them it actually fails you and says that you can't kill them even though we've killed other ones don't get it um, but yeah taser this one both of these have got their back to you which is uh, making it a lot more easy um, so take that one out then drop down and take the other one out that's there you will fall and hold on to that otherwise you would die if you didn't so it's a good job that you managed to hold on to there um, but yeah hit that taser there we go nice and uh, nice and easy there and then we get to the next checkpoint so from here uh, we're going to want to you can't go that way so you just swing a left from where you just was um, and then there'll be another open sort of room with some boxes and stuff in um, and there'll be an enemy a few enemies in here so you just be careful of that because um, you do need to sort of be a bit tactical about this bit um, so there'll be some boxes as you can see there um, but then you want to actually hide and get your sniper out and wait because they have got armor on so you just want to line up your shot um, a bit earlier so I'm actually going to uh, crossbow them so just literally line up the uh, the laser with where they will come out so boom there we go you get that one if you miss the shot it will alert them and then you'll have to restart it so we don't really want to do that to be honest um, but yeah that's that one done 
And then there's one more in here, I believe. Yeah, there we go. Again, line your shot up and take him out. Nice and easy. Um, so that's them two taken out and dealt with. So we're just going to move on up again here. So it seems to be the moral of the story. Kill some enemies, go through the next grate. That seems to be um, what you need to do. And surprise, surprise, there's another grate. So we're going to shoot that one out. And again, I'm going to fast forward the grate just because. So after that you will come to this Egyptian thing, very similar to my tattoo, um, and you will need to shoot at the uh, thing again, surprise, surprise, and it will actually be um, dark in here, so it makes it a little bit easier for you because the enemies find it a little bit harder for the, to see you, um, and then basically you just want to take these guys out with your taser again. So sneak around these, if you do get too close then it will actually alert them, so you don't really want to do that, um, but yeah, it does mean that you can get a bit closer, a bit easier. Uh, without too many problems so he took that one out there nice and easily and then sneak around and you see that one there and um, so we're going to want to go for him next um, but yeah there are a few in this level or in this little area i think there's three altogether but again you don't need to be as worried about them seeing you from a distance it's just if you get too close and then they get you um, but there we go we're going to zap this one there we go he does move so you just make sure to get him um, and then there's one more in here that we're going to zap as well just make sure you're behind them so they don't bump into your sort of thing and don't bump into them um, but we are in ancient Egypt currently which is pretty cool because uh, as you can tell from the tattoo I do quite like Egypt um, but there we go we've just finished this little section there's one more here and we are actually coming up towards the end of the mission now thank god because this one has been a long old mission um, but yeah once you've taken these guys out um, you want to proceed to the next area which will be the last bit of the mission oh, and it's been uh, it's been a long one I mean I don't enjoy the stealth ones quite as much anyway uh, but this one has been a long old stealth one uh, longest mission in the game I would say definitely the longest one up to this point um, but yeah just keep moving and I, I was getting a bit lost here if you want to buy in time with the commentary um, but there's the US government box blah 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 but yeah basically you just need to go where the enemies were really um, and then there'll be this sort of secret door um, I did struggle to find it at first I thought it was where it said ancient Egypt but it's not it's just literally in here it's not even that secret um, but it, I thought it was gonna be a lot harder to find and then you'll go into here where the, t the pillars are so this is like Stonehenge kind of thing um, and this is the last section of the video so I'm gonna leave the commentary here um, and allow you to just finish off watching because it is pretty simple from here um, but yeah hopefully you did like the video if you did please do give it a thumbs up Hit that subscribe button for more videos like this. The link for the playlist is in the description down below. As always guys, thanks for watching. Bye bye.